first came to work with paper almost, I think, as a matter of convenience, and it solved a lot of problems I was having. Um, I generally create large-scale paper installation art, and paper was great because it's light, so it could be hung, it was very co colorful, relatively inexpensive, it holds its shape, um, so it solved the problems of having to paint other kinds of structures or sewing and all that. It kind of just got the look that I wanted right away. The first piece I created was a cardboard cityscape. So lots of buildings and power lines made out of cardboard. And that was for, um, it was decor for an event called City of Craft. And that same kind of cardboard city migrated to different events and window displays. Alice the Aviator is a book about airplanes and aircraft inspired by Dr. Alice Kennedy, who was perhaps the first female Aboriginal pilot in Canada. The interesting challenge was because Alice isn't mentioned in the text, I had to figure out a way to incorporate her. And so the way that I thought to incorporate her was to have her growing up throughout the story. So in A, she's a baby, and in Z, she's an adult, the present day Alice Kennedy. For people interested in working with paper, I encourage being playful and not worrying too much about rules or figuring out what your style is. So then you only really need scissors and glue as opposed to a sewing machine and paint and brushes and all that kind of thing. So you can just sort of mess around and a lot of ideas and inspiration comes out from just playing.